Now, what have you done as a State Department official to limit or reduce the use of torture by U.S. forces? As you can imagine, technique is everything. NHLiberty.org This advertising brochure says free and open to the public, but will it be? A visit by a State Department official. How are you? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? They really are recording. Um, we said in our notices that we're we're not allowed to have any media involved because it's an off the record um, evening. Can I have your name? Anna. You're with World Affairs Council. Mm -hmm. Yeah. David Lee. Nice to meet you. Um, now, uh, my question would be, how are you going to enforce that? Would you arrest someone if they came in and wanted to record what he was saying on the on the taxpayer dime? All I can say is that it's off the record. I'll ask them how they want to deal with it. But we did um, put notices up and made that explicit. So. Why is it off the record? Um, I would prefer not to. If you want to turn the video camera off, I'll no, speak with you about it. Um, but in general, we felt like um, it would be a good opportunity to have the public hear more from the State Department about some critical issues. Does this so, ban on reporting in there um, have anything to do with the questions that I asked of your guest, Frank Slufo? I don't. I was here a few months ago. Recall. It's a ban on really anybody taking photos or recording. It just applies to everybody, um, including you know anybody from any media source. So it's nothing personal against anybody. Well, but we had to pay for his salary, though, so why shouldn't we be able to hear what he says in his speech? Well, you can ask him that yourself during question I will. and answer. Well, I thought that I, my recording was banned. Well, you can't come in with a video camera, well, then but you can... what's the point can... of asking a question if I can't record the answer? Well, you can share the answer with people later if you like, but you can't record it. Well, then he would just be able to deny it. He's State Department, after all. Well, I'm sure you're a good reporter, and you can um, tell the story to your audience. All right. I appreciate your time. Sure. How are you? Good, how are you? So this is the room where the uh, recording will be banned. I'm assuming they've rented it out, so I'm not going to go in there. Looking at it, look, treating it as their property. The Manchester Hi. Access Cable is Sorry, coming. I told Jason last time that we weren't going to be able to film this oh. event. So this and time then is, I sent an email. This time is, oh, you did? Tell him yeah. no? Yeah. So Unfortunately, it's off the record, so oh. sorry about that. Oh, okay. Well, night off. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Hi, how are you? How are you? This is my mom. Hi, Hi nice to Mr. Snipe, why is a recording banned at your speech tonight? Say it again? Why is a recording banned at your speech tonight? Why is there? Yes, why is it banned? Uh, why is he off the record? Yeah, something like that. It's just because that's the ground rules we set. At state? At state? Yeah. I see. Now, what have you done as a State Department official to limit or reduce the use of torture by U.S. forces? U.S. forces where? Uh, Iraq, Afghanistan primarily. Um, well, human rights has been um, uh, at the cornerstone of American foreign policy for decades. And so whether it's in Iraq or Afghanistan or other parts of the Middle East or South Asia or anywhere around the world, um, advocating uh, for the rights of uh, human dignity is something that is core to American foreign policy. Well, you can say that, but what have you done to, to reduce the use of torture by U.S. forces? They torture people. U.S. forces? Yes. Uh, You've not, heard about Dilawar in Afghanistan, the taxi driver that was tortured to death. That's not true.
Liberty.org.